Okay, I'm in Bridgeport, West Virginia, and you see right there at the top of the clock it says 1887, but anyway, I'm not quite sure what that building straight ahead is, but anyway, I just figured I'd show you a little bit of a, what small town USA in West Frosty Snowman at Dairy Queen. Got their little lights up, don't they? Christmas is coming. One thing you see in West Virginia is a whole lot of railroad tracks. I'm in a little town called Grafton, West Virginia. And I guess this is the entrance to the town or either the, the monument of the town, but it's got um got a Lake State Park up there, but it's this is what caught my eyes couple of little cannons right there I guess you'd call this a town square but anyway just another little West Virginia town I guess we're about 25 miles from um, Bridgepoint West Virginia okay it's just your typical little West Virginia street Okay, we are in the town of Grafton, getting ready to do a scenic drive through. Uh, what is that building straight ahead? Okay, we're getting ready to go into downtown historical district. Grafton historical district. Right up my alley. called the historical park it was dedicated in may 1992 the way i know that right back right there preserving the past embracing the future A lot of these fans, a lot of that right there. West Virginia Mountaineers, you see it. Big part of West Virginia, train. <coughs> if you notice, you got one, two, three, four houses all in a straight line almost. I guess each level of the mountain they go. They build a house in the Christmas spirit. Tiger River. It kind of like goes right through the middle of town or on the, runs alongside the town, but pretty cool land. I've done a lot of traveling and I've noticed that a lot of, a lot of the towns in America are really old, old towns. Very run down and stuff. And, Very old. I mean, real estate in West Virginia must be hard to come by because they got houses just stacked on top of houses right there. At Tigert State Park at the Visitor Center, which I'm sure it's closed now because it's off season, but go walk down here and look at the dam. Wow. Impressive. Kind of hard to get a good shot because I'm sure though. There you go. Pretty wild, huh? They're draining it for the winter. I was just important. There you go. Give you all a chance to read that. 
in case I'm not saying it's right. There, oh, Tigert. I got it now. Yeah. Oh, here's a real good view, James. Well, check that out, man. I, just, I got a thing about mountains, man. Another short view of it. Certain times of the year, you can walk down there, you have a pathway. Do what now? Get back over there and tell me about it. Yeah, look how big this lake is. There you go. And this is, the, that's the lake that they're draining right now. And, right. Uh, there's areas like this over here. This area, this peak right here, my buddy actually lives down in this area. And we can go out there and once they drain it, it all flows out of the dam. And you can come out there with your dirt bike and the the the, um, <clears throat> the mud is like so perfect that you can practically lay your dirt bike sideways and bank on it. But with the four launching ramps, they just remodeled all that. They have an area where you can... Uh, uh, like a beach area, right? You can go out. People come out here during the summer, man. This place is this place is on fire. It's lit. They got a um, um, got lucky and the visitor center was open. They got all kind of displays, a little bit of everything in here. Got all kind of information. Got a little blackberry. Yeah, I saw that construction. The I wanted to check that out. Got a model of the grounds. U.S. Engineer Office Corps of the Engineer U.S. Army Pittsburgh, PA. Pretty cool. June 1936, BNR Railroad. Doesn't exist anymore, probably. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? Doing good. Is okay if I video in here? Live, like, nah, you're done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> give it up, Bob. Give it up. You're done. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty. Hmm. They're kind of vicious. They come in and out of that tube right there, huh? Yeah. It's a whole lot of bees. Right out. That's amazing. And even, uh, I had a video the other day of it was snowing. And, or there was snow on the ground. And they were still coming out. Wow. These bees fly at 35 degrees. What, what's the actual, uh, actual species? New World Carnolians is what they're called. New World Carnolians? Yeah. You kind of, you are ready. All right, so this is an augmented reality sandbox. And what this is basically is a, it's a great learning tool to show people how watersheds and elevation works. Uh, so basically what it is is a sandbox then when we move around, we can see the different contour lines. So if you dig out a lake, you'd be able to see the contour lines and how deep the water is. Now let's say it rains. You can see all the water that flows down into the lake. And so this is basically how a watershed works. It rains on top of mountains and it flows into the valleys. Mm -hmm. So even if it's uh, like a mountainside here, the water still moves through sediments and still makes its way. Even if it hits, it it still makes its way through the yeah. bottom, even it's, after it's days a, it's a of fun not way raining. It's showing that water runs downhill Yeah. and kind of how we collect it. And so once we have a reservoir of water, if there was any way to let the water release, we can also see that and it'll travel down. Oh, it travels. It'll travel down the lowest points. Um, That's amazing. We're in Tiger State Park. We're in the campground section. It looks like it's all primitive camp and I believe I saw the sign up there. It said $25 per campsite. Anyway, not real bad. I guess you gotta back in here. You got a table. You got your fire pit. If you look real closely, you can see the dam right there. But it's nice and wooded, and the campsites are real private. 
I mean, here's one, and then that's the only one here. And the next one's up there, so the real private camp spites. But you can hear the power plant. Not the power plant, you can hear the dam. Up there, you got cabins, but overall, it looks like be some good camping here. Okay, I'm at the Harrison County Courthouse in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Ooh, check that out, man. Ooh, I just haven't seen this sign, this um, statue right here, so I figured I'd come over and check it out. By the looks, I'd say it's Stonewall Jackson. And I was like, right. Look at Jackson there, standing like a stone wall. Hmm. Pretty cool, huh? I'm not sure what the statue's for because it's got flowers all over it. So, and I'm not gonna move the flowers, so. I really enjoy history, I really do. I guess y'all can pause that if you wanna. And I think everybody in the South knows the history of Stonewall Jackson getting shot by his old man, but there it is in writing. I just love the old architectural work in these little towns. It's really cool. Christmas time. So we got everything lit up. Both directions. Big old Christmas tree down there. We'll have to go check that out. But a lot of old buildings. Look at the chalk blocks up there on that building. Downtown Clarksburg. Another monument in front of the courthouse. Nice. In downtown Clarksburg. Pretty cool. It's a welcome center, I reckon. Found me another clock. Ball Town, USA. In the middle of downtown Clarksburg. Pretty sweet, huh? And this building's in downtown Clarksburg.
the Oxitec in these buildings just blows me away with the craftsmanship it took to make them.